dividends, we close revenues, expenses, we close dividends. So if there are multiple expense accounts, we close all of them. If there are multiple revenue accounts, we close all of them. Okay, anything that you see on income statement only represents that period of time. We zero them out at the end of the season after doing financial statements. Okay, so as opposed to this temporary concept, all the other accounts other than revenue, expenses, and dividends are all called permanent accounts. Okay, all types of assets, all types of liability, common stock, retained earnings, anything you see on balance sheet is called permanent accounts. Okay, statement of retained earnings is a little tricky because retained earnings itself is permanent, but dividends is temporary. Okay, but balance sheet accounts, all of them we call permanent accounts. So meaning that when you look at balance sheet, if you see cash account, it has, let's say, $6,000. It's the total cash that the company has now. It doesn't represent the cash that company just collected for this period of time. No, it's an accumulated cash amount. But if you see revenue $5,000, that's the revenue that only relates to that period of time. Okay, so going back to balance sheet again, if you see accounts receivable $3,000, then that represents all along from day one of the business up to now. There has been increasing accounts receivable, decreasing accounts receivable, but up to now, there's $3,000 that your company will be receiving from others later on. All the permanent accounts means that you never close them out. It's always there, but the balance changes as transactions occurs. And we never zero them out to any other accounts. All the balance sheet accounts is always there, but the balances would change based on transactions. Okay, so permanent account balance carries forward to the following period. Meaning if December 31st, there's $5,000 left in cash for 2012, then January 1st, 2013, you start from $5,000. Okay, so whatever is the balance that you see at the last day of 2012, that would be the balance that you see in the beginning of 2013. Okay, this is what it means by ending balance carries forward to the following period. So I'm not sure if you noticed that earlier when we talked about financial statements. Income statements, statement of retainer means you would see the heading stating month ended or year ended. But if you see balance sheet, if you go to balance sheet heading, it's always at a specific date. That is because it's a permanent, it represents all permanent account information. It's always on a specific day, January 31st or December 31st. It doesn't say a month period of time because it is an accumulated information from day one of the business operations. Okay, so balance sheet is the statement in the heading. You will see it's different from income statement and retained earnings. It's on a specific date instead of a period of time. <coughs> 